Hello, I am Mesos Orem, and welcome to the SFML tutorial number two. And today we will be covering sprites. First thing you'll want to do is make a sprite folder and put an example sprite inside of it, going left to right in Visual Studio. We will be making a texture first. So we say SF texture name it texture. Underneath that we need an if statement. We say not texture dot load from file. Say sprites as in the folder and then example sprite dot png as that is the name and the file type of the sprite. Inside of the if statement, we will say standard CRR error could not load file and say this and end line standard ENDL. Afterwards, we will say return negative one to set an error to the console. Next, we will say sf sprite sprite, and inside of that, we will say texture. Now, what this is doing is loading this texture onto this sprite here. First, before we do anything else, we will say up here, you know, directions, and say down, right up, left. Underneath sprite we will say sf int rectangle and then dir as in directions with four elements. After that we will be making a for loop say for int i equals zero i is less than four plus plus i. Then inside the for loop we need to say direction at i equals sf int rectangle double brackets inside of those brackets we say 32 times i by 0 then 32 by 32 what this is saying is that we need to start at 0 0 and go to 32 by 32 and for every loop, move right by 32 so that we get the entire sprite structure. Below the for loop, we can say sprite dot set texture rectangle dir at down. And then sprite dot set origin and say 16 by 16, as that is half of your sprite size. Lastly, for this part, we say sprite dot set position and width divided by 2.0f, height divided by 2.0f. Next, we can draw it. Say window dot draw and sprite. Then we will debug. And we see that we've drawn our sprite. Inside of the updating portion of the while loop, we can say if sf keyboard is key pressed, sf keyboard scan s. Inside of that, we say sprite dot move. 0.0f, 1.0f, as well as sprite dot set texture rectangle direction down. Next we'll be copying this if statement. Say else paste 
else paste, else paste. Change these letters over here to W, D, and A. Change the elements in the directions to up, right, and left. Lastly, we change this to a negative one, these to zeros, this to a one, and this to a negative one. Finally, we can hit the debugger, see that we can go right, left, down, and up. Another thing that we can do with sprites, just as with shapes, is say sprite.rotate, sf degrees, one, We can see now that the sprite is rotating one degree every frame. Lastly, one thing you can also do with sprites is color them. Sprite dot set color, SF color, and let's say that it's cornflower blue, which is 0x6495EDFF. And this will color the sprite, not as you expect, but it will color it. Now that is all for today. Thank you for joining me. And next time we'll be covering vertex arrays. Please like, comment, and subscribe and have a great day.